Right, welcome back to another video. We're back on the detailing series on the BMW 36. So I've got to do the outside of the car today. Myself and my dad are here cracking on. Um, we've already done quite a bit, but I thought I'd crack the camera out and film um, what we're up to on this Sunday on the BMW, just so you can see that. I was going to focus more on the Instagram Reels and the TikTok stuff, um, but I think I'll obviously get the video out today and make a little video out of this. I'm not too sure exactly what we're going to get because we've already done some of the cleaning bits so far. Um, but yeah, let's just see how we get on. I've been sent out some products by Sam's Detailing, so I thought I'd show you them in a little bit more detail and show you the result that we're getting on the BMW. Um, and then hopefully, yeah, you can see what the Sam's Detailing. I'll talk to you about the Sam's products in a little bit more detail. I'll show you what they've sent out to us. Yeah, I'll leave a link down below and you can go check them out for yourself. But this is what's going on today, today's setup. So the car's already starting to look quite nice. We've got the Sam's Detailing buckets with the shampoo. So we've got some nice buckets there that they've sent out to us, which is quite nice. And then I've got a load of products over here from interior detailers, pre-wash, we've got a wheel and tire cleaner, ceramic boost, more ceramic boost, glass cleaner, and some exterior detailer. And we've got some pre-wash in there and some brushes and stuff. So Dad's just doing the wheels um, with the Sam's wheel and tire cleaner. So we've used quite a bit of it so far. But the wheels are starting to look quite nice. So how's the wheels coming up, Dad? Coming up all right? right. Yeah. Too bad. This one's a bit. Are you a bit stained. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of dirt in this one. Obviously, this car's never had a decent clean, has it? No. So there's a lot of dirt in behind there. In the barrels. Yeah. But the backs and that, the backs have come up really nice. Turn this off quick. Excuse. Me. Them back wheels come up really nice. Yeah. So yeah, so we've used the wheel and tire cleaner, we've used the pre-wash, so I've just been going around all the door shuts and stuff um, with this brush and just basically just giving it a good scrub out because all in there and that, it's never really been cleaned, it's just built up. Um, and also got to do in the door shuts here because as you can see there's a lot of mud and crap in there. Um, can't get that door, let's open this door up. So I'm just going to go around all the door shuts with the pre-wash and just basically clean all this stuff up because if you look in there, it's absolutely hanging. I've left the keys in there, I don't want to do that. If you the new radio, so put a new radio in. I'll show you that in a little bit more detail in a bit. But that was an absolute nightmare. But yeah, I've got a new radio inside now. Probably need to give the interior another clean out at some point because it's starting to look a bit hanging as well. But Dad's just focusing on the wheels. I'll be going around the door shuts um, and then we'll be going around it with a two bucket method. Um, so they've also sent us out a nice new wash mitt. So we've got a nice microfiber wash mitt from Sam's Detailing. Obviously got some nice new buckets, um, shampoos in there. Um, so yeah, I'll go around it two bucket method in a minute after I've done all the door shuts and that. Give it a full pressure wash down and then look at doing the next thing. So we haven't got any iron fallout removal or any tire and glue remover, but I've got my own stuff um, that I've got in the van so I can use that on the car. Um, and then we'll look at doing like polishing up and that the glass in this car as well also needs a really good clean So we'll do all that. Um, so I'll just try and film as much as I possibly can um, Today we're gonna do a few other little bits and bobs so like sort out that uh, radio that I just showed you in the car um, So it'll be a bit of a detail in the morning um, plus just sorting out some bits on the project car We're also gonna make a list of exactly what we want to do from here. So you would have already seen that we've um you would have already seen that we've taken it to Mark. He sorted out the shaft coupling and a few other bits. Um, so now it's a case of actually cracking on with the project, project and figuring out what we want to do with it. So, but yeah, for now, let's get this car cleaned up and see how we get on for the rest of the day.
bowels and said about doing taking the wheels off just to see what they're like, haven't you? Just see what the bowels and that are like. Because um, I picked up some things from Halford Jesse. So I got these for like two for twenty quid. So I've got twelve floor mats, just better for our knees and that. So I'm going to yeah. take these out, put these on the floor, and we'll use them today. Because there's nothing worse than being soaked and have dodgy knees. So I'll put these down. Out of the way. So yeah, if you need some mats, I recommend going to Alfred's and getting them. Um, so we're going to jack this up, aren't we? Take yeah. the wheel off. So I'll loosen the wheel first. I bet these are tight. Still need to get one of them jacking tools, don't we? Yeah. For that. Probably even one of them in the sliders. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, not good for <laughs> not health not and safety. I've got my steel cut toe cap boots on. <laughs> so that's the bowels. Oh, yeah, look at that. Been on there years, hasn't it? Yeah. So we'll just bad. get some chemical on that and just try and clean it up as best possible. It's going to take a little bit of doing. Yeah. But um, we'll have to leave that when we to soak. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it to soak. Um, at least it gives us a good chance to get these wheels clean properly. Should we do the two fronts? I don't think the backs are too bad, no, are they? The backs was all right. Yeah. It's the fronts. What's all this looking like? All the arches in that look quite nice. Look that is there. Right, I think for now I'll leave you just clean up these then. Yeah, yeah. Just mine and fall out movers, leave it to soak and hopefully we'll see what sort of result we've right, got. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll put another one of these down. And then we'll just rest it. The face on that. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Quick tea break. Dad's just been doing the wheels. They've come up loads better. Should have a look at that wheel, it's come up so much better, and I think yeah. we said we'll get some iron and fallout remover and then we'll take off all the other wheels, but that's looking better for a yeah, bit of a is. decent scrub. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get what get that wheel back on and then just we'll do the other three when I get some iron and yeah. fallout. Yeah, yeah. The backs are not too bad, but could all just benefit from a bit of a clean up. How's the arches and that? They're all looking alright, aren't they? Pretty clean, yeah, because we cleaned it all, didn't we? Should be looking alright that. Yeah, it's alright. Right, just carrying on with the exterior cleaning. So we've had the wheel taken off and cleaned that up. We're gonna properly decontaminate the wheels um, with some iron and fall up mover at another point. Um, but we're just gonna wash the rest of the car. So I've got the sand detail and buckets, got a nice new wash mitt and got the sand detail and shampoo in there. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have a nice new wash mitt on this car. So I've got the one bucket for the rinse, one bucket for the wash. I'm literally just taking it straight off car and give it a good clean up so yeah it clean up quite well we're pretty much nearly there with all the cleaning stages now aren't we yeah we've done wheels we've done arches been snow foam three times yeah for the different video bits and stuff um and we've had the front wheel taken off to see what that was like but i think we'll get some iron and fallout removal and give that a good clean at some point but yeah it's nice having some good products to clean up the car with it's already starting to look quite well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, you can tell the difference. Yeah, massively. So, yeah, we're just going to continue now um, shampooing the rest of the car. I just need to finish going the door shut. Um, and then we'll just do some finishing touches on the outside. Is it worth polishing it up or anything? Yeah, polish it up. Give it a bit of a polish yeah, for now. Yeah, polish it up. Dress the tyres. Um, hopefully, maybe get time to do the inside glass. And yeah, yeah. Glass. yeah. And then, um, get the yeah, steam cleaner on it. Get the steam cleaner on the inside glass. Sure. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on shampooing the car, I'll get it all dried off, um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, okay. That's the car wash for now. So we've gone around all the wheels, we've done the shampoo, and we've done the snow foam, we've done the arches, done the door shuts. Um, we've also topped it up with a bit of Sam's detail and ceramic boost. So Dad's just drying it off now with a Sam's detail and drying towel. I'll tell you what, that ceramic boost makes a hell of a difference in terms of drying it off. 
just such an easy way to protect your car. So just spin it around. So we've got some nice little beading going on now on the car, which is quite cool. Dad's just drying it off. What did you think of that ceramic boost, Dad? You liked it, didn't you? What's that? That ceramic boost. Yeah. It's good, it's good stuff. stuff. Really good stuff. Just makes it so much easier rather than have to physically wax the car. And it makes drying it off a lot easier as well. But as you can see, the BMW is actually looking so much nicer. The wheels have come up well and the paintwork's come up quite well. It's just really dull. So it probably could benefit from a bit of a machine polish. But I think if we get time, we'll just give it a hand polish today and just see how it comes up. Spent a good day on the BMW. It's starting to look really nice now. We nearly finished up um, what we can in terms of the detailing side of it. Dad's just inside having a look at the air vent because I've took the radio or I've replaced the radio. We've had to take some of the vents and that out to get to the wiring loom. But now, obviously, me being me, can't get the bloody vent back in, which is an absolute nightmare. So I'll sh show you around the car. So it is looking fresh. How nice that's looking now. Yes. How fresh that is. Until you got close to it. <laughs> but, how's it? I think it's like this little vent. Yeah, just, there's a flathead in there somewhere. Yeah, that's what I need. Just to push that. So, we're having a problem because this is, there's a little clip in behind there, isn't there? Yeah. I think that little Where's clip that it lets it slide under. So, I push. All that for this bloody thing. Mm. We still want to sort out all them wires down there. Oh, that's it's a good result on the outside of the car though, isn't it, today? Definitely. Really good. So I'm really happy with that. Big up Sam's detail and sending out all the products. Try and do a little bit more. Um, try and get the car a little bit filthier maybe and use some more of these but we've pretty much used everything so tyre shine, wall and tyre cleaner, pre-wash, we've used ceramic boost, shampoo, we get the cups of tea, um, glass cleaner so that back window is now looking so much better but yeah, I'm really really happy with the outside of the car I'll get some proper shots in a minute but yeah happy days. Right so we're just finishing off on the car in the last couple of weeks the legends over at Roller Plates have sent us out some nice new gels. So we're just about to stick these on now the car's all clean. These number plates on here are obviously from when they're, I think, from new. So they're absolutely had its day. All the screws are buggered and it's all like delaminated and that. So if we look, we've got some nice new gels. Hopefully that'll pick up. And we've also got a short plate for the front. So this will go on the new bumper when we get a new bumper. Because we're going to get the M Sport style kit, aren't we, for the yeah. car. Um, so I think the short plate will look really nice on that. I might run it on that now, maybe. We'll see. But that will probably be more for the um, when I get the M Sport bumpers. But yeah, thanks to the guys at Roller Plates for sending these out. They're going to look so much nicer on the car compared to the ones that we've got. So yeah, let's get these fitted and see what they look like once they're on. But it's going to look so much better. Just taking the back number plate off, haven't we? What have we found? A bit more rust where the drill holes were. Yeah. Yeah. That's really bad, isn't it? Oh, doesn't sound good, does it? Look how much it is. So yeah. I don't know if it'll be worth just replacing the boot lid or just getting Charlie to have a look at that, see what he thinks. But for now, we'll just cover it with a nice set of number plates. Yeah. <laughs> but that is bad. Look how fresh that looks. New number plates on the back. Oh, it's, um... That's made a massive difference. So just on to the front now. So we took the old number plate off. I think it was a slightly newer plate, wasn't it, on the yeah. front? Because it wasn't as bad as the back. So they've sent us out some double-sided tape as well, which is spot on. So we've got four bits on. It's cold today, isn't it? Yeah. It's, I think it's getting colder. It's definitely the temperature's dropping, isn't it? The more... I, I wouldn't be surprised if we could get some snow. I was thinking that earlier. Because it's been a week now of cold temperatures. Literally. It usually takes about a week of cold temperatures before you get the snow. It'll put settle as well if there's no rain. No, dry as anything everywhere. My hands are starting to get cold. <sighs> yeah, we're going to leave the little one for when we get the better bumpers, when we get the sportier bumpers. No point in putting the little one on yet. 
but it does look nice. I do like that look. So this should be fairly straightforward. Nice, isn't it? Made a massive difference just having yeah. nice number plates on it. It's not sticking to me, is it? There. What do you think? Do you like the gel look? Yeah, I do. I like I it. I do well. like the gel look, yeah. So, yeah, fresh number plates on. I think it's definitely transformed the look of the back. So, yeah, shout out to the guys at Roller Plates. Yeah, Make sure you go better. check them out for your number plates. Standard printed, shorter ones, 3D, um, 4D. Yeah, I'll put the link down below so you can go check them out. But yeah, thanks again to the guys who made a massive difference on the BMW 36. So that's the 36 all cleaned up using the Sam's Detailing products. So big thanks to the guys over at Sam's Detailing for sending us out them products to try out on the E36. I want to get the car a little bit dirtier and then we could do like a proper little detailing video um, using their products just to showcase it a little bit more. Also thanks to the guys at Roller Plates for sending us out the number plates. Just makes a massive difference having some tidier number plates on the car, especially on the back because they were absolutely hanging. Um, I've used the car in between so it's not as clean now unfortunately. Black car gets absolutely filthy straight away as soon as you take it out, especially with all the crap weather that we've had. But it come up really well considering. Um, obviously loads of paintwork issues that we need to sort out on this car and obviously we've got to sort out some mechanical issues as well so it's going to be a long old project on this E36 from this point onwards. Um, one of the next things I need to do on the car is sort the mirrors out. So as you can see there I've got some M3 style mirrors on the car that I'm just testing out. Um, and I need to put it on this side as well, so I'm going to be doing a little YouTube video on that and putting that out over the next couple of weeks. So we've got loads of videos to do, loads of videos to put out. Um, if there's anything that you'd like to see, obviously comment down below. I'm thinking of welding the diff on this car, um, so I could do a little video on that and showcase exactly what a welded diff does, because I'm not completely 100% sure, but obviously I can talk to someone um, that's going to be doing it. Thank you.